Okay, we're back with another mail call shout out video for my silver squad here on YouTube live streamer that does live streams on YouTube and whatnot. I got three packages here. I can pull out another if I have to, but these couple of these are pretty good size. So we'll see if what happens with these three. And uh, we we'll back in just a little bit when we get one or two of these opened up and we'll see what we got. Okay, we're back. I just opened up two of these packages and my board is full. So I think that's where we'll stop opening today. But we'll go through this stuff that I got. Got a nice selection of coins here. 40% candies. We got a 1966. 14 1967s. Four 1968 Denver's and three 1969 Denver's. For clad proof coins, got a pretty good selection. I must have got quite a few from my out of my rolls that I purchased. But we got a 74 San Francisco. 89 San Francisco, 95 San Francisco, 99 San Francisco, and a 2013 San Francisco. Again, these are all clad, not the silvers. And then we got also a 2009 San Francisco in pretty good shape that he had flipped up. And we got a painted coin. I'm pretty sure that's painted, not gold-plated, because it's not shiny, but it's a 91 Philly. And we got a 1987 Philly, NIFC, not intended for circulation. Those were only found in mint sets. That came out of one of my rolls, I am sure, for my donation. Then on to the 90% Kennedys. We got one 1964 Philly. We got two 64 Denvers. And then we got some, I'm pretty sure these are all auction purchases. But we got two of the 1964 Denvers, the FS 501. They are a D over D repunch mint mark. And I'll put up a picture of it now. And also then I'll put up a picture off a of variety vista of this coin. And you can see it's the same one. And we'll do the same for the other two here. On to the next, uh, he had marked this as a quadruple die obverse 64D. I'm pretty sure this is DT's writing here, but they didn't make, didn't have a quadruple die obverse in the 64D. That was only found in the 64 Philly. So I got to looking. And this is actually the FS-105. It's a triple, tripled die obverse. And again, I'll put up a picture of the coin here. And then also the comparison to the Variety Vista pictures. And you can see it is, that is the FS-105. Then on to the next one, we got a 1964 Philly. It is also a DDO, 
and it is the FS102 variety. That coin there is in pretty good shape. Same with that one. They possibly both could be graders, but we'll decide that in the future. But again, I'll put the pictures up of both of these coins here right now. Then with in with the Benjis, we got two 1951 Phillies, 51 Denver, 53 Denver, 54 Denver in pretty good shape. We got a 54 San Francisco, 59 Denver, 61 Philly. Two 1962 Phillies and a 63 Denver. Walkers 90 percenters. Got a 36 Philly, 39 Philly, a 40 Philly, 1943 Philadelphia, and a 46 Philadelphia. Then this was an interesting find from one of my purchased hunts it was an Australian 1943 penny that was found in a half dollar roll then 90% dimes we got a 1943 Philadelphia and a 63 Philadelphia Rosie dime Merck dime Rosie dime Then we'll head down to the bottom row here. These flipped coins. We got a 1943 Philly, 35% silver war nickel. We got a better date, 23 San Francisco Buffalo nickel. Better date, 1922 Denver. Wheat Penny, I haven't looked at it real close. I don't think it's the Wheat D. I think it's the normal one, but even still, fairly high dollar coin to purchase. And then a better date, 1939 San Francisco, Washington Quarter. And here, I'll put a picture of this one under the scope also, but fairly well known amongst collectors that uh, 2021 Philadelphia, the Washington crossing the Delaware quarter has a quite a few or you know, a significant die chip in the hat and I'll put that picture up now this was actually from a member hunt he found that for me and then on to we got a foreign here it's a Bahamas 1971 proof five cent coin with the pineapple and this was a guess the number giveaway on the wheel I believe this was also too I'm not for sure what this is I haven't done any research into it but I believe this is some sort of Greek coin but I'll have to look into that later then on to some of the stuff up top here we got a Roman Empire three thirty AD Constantine the Great Era coin here in a no name graders package 
pretty well worn. You can see a bust there, it looks like. I don't know if that's columns on the back there or what, but. And underneath that, we got a 1984 proof set. I believe that was also an auction item. Then we've got a 1974 Eisenhower. It is the Brown Ike packaging. It don't have the the outer packaging, the brown box, but it is the Brown Ike 1974 San Francisco proof dollar. Then we've got a you can see that that is a 2022 Philharmonic one ounce silver. See, I didn't have enough room for everything. I had to pile some things on top. Then one ounce silvers. We got a number of them here. We've got a Intaglio mint. It's the UFOs over Mount Rushmore. We got a 2022 uh, Britannia. Got a Buffalo Stacker, one ounce round. You can see it's got the little things so you can stack these. Got an Aztec round. Got a Money Metals copy of a walk around here. Again, one ounce, all this stuff here. Got a 2019 Newey. It is, uh, I believe it's the Czech Lion. Maybe it's, it's off their flag or their crest. Pretty cool lion on that that one there. And then we've got a sovereign Indian Nation, Navajo Nation, one ounce round right there. Then we got a half ounce. It's I'm sure it's Chinese Year of the Lion or Year of the Horse 2014 half ounce round got a one gram Valcambi Swiss gold bar and what else do we got we got the five ounce Fort Moultrie South Carolina quarter five ounce quarters you know how I like these and last but not least we got a really nice probably lower BU it looks really nice but it does have a fair amount of chatter in the fields and on the cheek of the Morgan but it's an 1884 New Orleans Morgan dollar and I think that wraps everything up here. Like I say, I think I'm going to stop right here with two packages. I'm sure it's getting long, this video. But again, check out my Silver Squad. I'll put the link down below to get to his channel. And uh, he does live streams most every Thursday and Sunday nights on YouTube. He has started also streaming on Whatnot on Tuesday nights and Saturday nights most of the time for a few hours. Does auctions, like I said, live streams some buy it now purchases races a lot of these silver rounds probably came from either races or uh giveaways of some sort but
check out his channel come join us we have a lot of fun there anyway thanks for watching check on back for future videos and like i say i'll probably have a part two later this month i've got a number of packages i need to open up from dt and my silver squad so thanks for watching